actually i made a video i think it was last year showing you guys how to prevent crashes and freezes in vegas 13. in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Suna Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to track text. So let's say you want to have like a moving shot and you still want to be the text like on the same spot. Like let's say you have like a building right here and it's sliding uh, across you know the screen but you still want the text to be on there and not like moving along. I'm going to show you guys today how to do that in Sony Vegas right now and it's going to be really simple it's going to be a little bit of work but that's obvious of course so i would say let's get started so as you guys can see we are on sony vegas and i just dragged in a little rate clip and this is a really good example because we are going to place the text on the left when it zooms out we can make sure that the text is on the exact same spot so that's really that's a really nice example so we're just going to make the text on the left like on that little wall i'm going to make it like the same size first we want to drag in the footage that you're going to use uh, I used this. Then you want to just right click on your timeline, insert a new video track. Then you want to go over to media generators and you want to pick the text that is like default. So you just want to place that on there. And as you guys can see, we have the text right there. I'm going to type in Sony Vegas. And first of all, what we're going to do in order to make this like move is you want to go over to the left on that little white icon, which is track motion. You want to click on there. And right now you just want to make sure like with this square, you want to make sure that you placed Sony Vegas onto the wall right there as you guys can see also it tilted a little bit so as you guys can see that looks really good but then the next thing you want to do the first thing is you do want to, you want to change source alpha to 3d source alpha right there then as you guys can see this box pops up and right now it, it works like 3d if, if you mess around with this you can like change like the 3d and that's really handy so also you want to make sure that this one is checked at the bottom and those three unchecked so the next thing that we're going to do is it's all it's just all a matter of placing keyframes so as you guys can see it stands on uh, the place right there and what we're going to do is we're going to go up, like at the bottom i'm going to go a frame a few frames forward and as you guys can see this, like the text is slightly getting out of its place. So let's just like place it back. Also, let, let's tilt it a little bit. Keep it on the same place as always. Move some frames. That's basically the all the, like the work there is. And uh, you just want to make sure that you keep like the text in place as always. Right there. Then move a few frames as always. So you want to place it right there. And that's how you do it. So what you want to do is you just want to uh, go to the beginning. Make sure that you always you know, like move some frames here and there throughout the video. So you just can, like as you guys can see, move some frames, move Sony Vegas, move the word, then other few frames. Just like move it also. Like it's that easy. It's that simple. You just want to place like keyframes. Just go over to the track motion icon and then 3D source alpha. And you can do a lot of stuff. As you guys can see, I can like turn it. As you can see, you can turn it like this way, that way. So this is how you do it, you guys. This this is the end result. I know this is done really sloppy, but this is just how to do it because I'm not going to bore you guys with like a 15 minute video showing you how to do it. So this is what we made so far. But of course, you can use like less keyframes within the key, like with like less frames within the keyframe. So it's like more precise. But this is basically the basic how you do it. As you guys can see, it's the Sony Vegas and it's standing there. Of course, the text is a little bit moving, but that's just basically a frame per frame. Then it's going to be just one steady. Uh, video. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you track motion uh, Text or images, whatever you can do this on anything. Thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and I'll see you guys tomorrow What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas Well, Sony Vegas, Vegas 14 tutorial rather and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to prevent crashes and freezes because guys I want to mention that uh, this program rather Vegas 14 released I would say a few weeks ago a few months ago unfortunately i have to tell you guys that the, that this version still can crash a lot of people are familiar with crashes from vegas uh sony vegas pro 13 well unfortunately guys vegas 14 can also crash but there are a few things that you can apply so you will actually prevent crashes and freezes and everything while you're editing while you're rendering while you're dragging in footage i'm gonna name a few things that you can do in order to try to prevent crash so the first one is actually i made a video i think it was last year showing you guys how to prevent crashes and freezes in vegas 13. in today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to
You see what just happened? Well, guys, it's going to be the same method that's going to be applied in Vegas uh, 14. So basically, the first thing that always happens to me when I'm editing, so right here on Sony Vegas, uh, let's say I have like a really busy timeline. I've been editing a video that's like 10 minutes long or 60 FPS, a whole nine yards. And let's say I want to drag in the next clip of my camera. Basically, what happens is when I go over to the folder, I drag something in this can happen it, the screen will turn white there is like an icon that will load and your vegas project crashed and you can you can press Control s as many times as you like to try to save your project if it didn't happen it is too late so basically the, the really awesome thing is when it crashes when you close it down when you restart it usually it will you know ask do you want to load in the auto save project so nine out of ten you didn't lose like your entire project but i would say maybe 30 percent to even more the first thing is is when you want to drag in footage into your timeline do not go ahead and drag in the 60 fps file directly into your timeline i would recommend just go to a file at the top import uh this guy import then you want to click on media and then you want to go straight over to the folder where the actual file is so let's say i'm going to add in this this is just a random picture as you can see right here it just is a warning and then it appears in your project media uh as you can see right here your section and then you want to drag it boom from there into your timeline and you probably nine out of ten you are saved so that's one thing to prevent crashes the next thing is uh, when you are rendering or editing uh, a video not like specifically like dragging in footage but just editing like let's say you're editing very fast and you press Control s here and there to save your project and it crashes you can go ahead and prevent that by just going to over to options preferences and you want to pick the video tab and right here it is actually a pretty big menu but the only thing you need to pay attention to is gpu acceleration of video processing and you want to change this one from advanced micro devices etc you want to place this guy to off then you want to click on apply and then when you click on apply it says for one or more of these changes to take effect the application must be shut down and restarted so when you click on ok you want to just press on ok right here as well then you want to kind of go over and restart your vegas that's what i'm going to do right now so i'm going to close out vegas and when we booted up vegas pro as you can see right here uh, you can just go ahead and start straight with your editing and it shouldn't crash that much anymore and basically the last tip is always use the command control s people are also like using their fingers on s and space to you know to play the video and to pre press s is also cutting so why don't you just go ahead and hold your pinky also on control and then you can just go ahead and press control s and etc and then it will save your project as you can see right here so just go while you're editing press control s so it will so it will be saved and that's the same with this guy so that's how you save your project that's how you avoid crashes and freezes from in vegas 14 is that simple unfortunately it can still crash like most programs so that's it for the video guys thank you guys for liking thank you for subscribing and i will see you guys uh tomorrow for one new audacity tutorial and also one new vegas 14 tutorial on friday so i'll see you guys tomorrow just alex helford